How long have you been doing digital? Oh gosh, I would say I started in digital in 2005, right? So I came from a traditional background prior to that. Uh, made the jump to digital and have been in it ever since. And while it's changing by the day, I mean, we can barely keep up with it. And I think that's what the most innovative and exciting piece of our industry is now, as daunting as it is, because you're always looking for the next best opportunity for your client and how do you keep them ahead of the curve and ahead of their competitors. Um, but it's challenging because technology is just moving at such a rapid pace and you almost can't keep up and, and predict what's going to be next. But um, you know, you have to try to embrace it and stay on top of it as best as you can. For 2015, this, yeah, year, this year, of what's happening in mobile and yeah. the opportunity. Yep. Um, what are you most passionate about? What are you excited about? So I think one of the most exciting things we've done this year is we launched a partnership with Snapchat. So um, as everyone knows, they're still getting into the space, still trying to figure out what the right creative brand experience with it within that platform is um, for McDonald's because millennials are a huge area of opportunity for us. Uh, and we launched a branding campaign in the beginning of this year in 2015. Um, through multiple conversations with Snapchat, we were the first QSR to actually run um, a story, a brand story with, within that environment. Um, we have since evolved. Uh, we launched the Discover platform when that came in partnership with Comedy Central and Snapchat. We're now looking at um, a new opportunity that's going to roll out in mid-June with them. So uh, I think the innovation and the opportunities we have provided and uh, created for McDonald's in partnership with Snapchat, knowing it's a huge area of, of consumption for that audience demographic is probably one of the most exciting things we've done in 2015. Um, I think uh, looking at that from another angle is how do we start understanding measurement, right, and, and attribution, and we drive to stores. So with McDonald's and 14,000 locations, um, being able to connect with someone during that that, per that decision window um, when they are, you know, five minutes before they walk in store is crucial for them. So uh, knowing mobile is the platform that will allow us to make that connection um, when they are considering options for, you know, whether it be lunch or breakfast or dinner um, is key for us. So trying to understand how to truly map path to purchase. Just. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, where are you, what do you feel um, proximity marketing is in 2015? Yeah. From beacons to NFC yep. to GPS to all yeah. those sort of things. Where do you think we are? Uh, I think we're in the early infancy stages. Um, I think we're all trying to figure it out. Uh, while yes, everyone can agree that mobile is here and it's the year of mobile. Um, mobile's been around for us from a brand standpoint. We've been active in it since 2010. While we've made a lot of inroads and, and evolved our mobile approach, um, I think proximity is still in its early stages. Um, yes, you have ad experiences where you can layer on Latin longs and utilize GPS to drive to store, um, but there's inaccuracy in that um, in terms of truly um, the proximity that uh, we can show within an ad experience. Um, I think beacons are going to be an interesting, um, uh, interesting, I guess, device or piece of technology to follow. I think it is going to change the way that we can connect with consumers on a one-to-one, -one, and then when you can map that back to um, a you know McDonald's app, and, and you have an understanding of uh, brand and product affinity, that goes a long way. But I think we're in the early stages of trying to connect the dots and truly figuring out how to drive to store. Uh, McDonald's actually does have NFC in all of their stores, which is why they launched with Apple Pay. Obviously, we're exploring some other opportunities uh, with other, um, I guess, technology partners that are trying to figure out what that, that, that pay um, experience is in store. Um, but I don't think we're even close to figuring it out yet. And I think data is going to drive a lot of it. So we're testing and learning. I think that's the biggest thing for us from a brand standpoint is continue to innovate and test and learn. And, and even if something may not necessarily prove out to work in the way that we thought going in, there's still something we learned from a brand standpoint that will hopefully keep us ahead of the curve.